Hey everyone, I've been out here for uh, quite a while this morning already. I've uh, probably about a mile up from the bridge, mile and a half. Uh, I've just been doing my normal looking around and so forth. Found uh, two little pieces of bone. That is it. So, but luck's changed a little bit. Gonna look down here and there you go. That is a vertebrae. Actually, that's in pretty good shape too. Most of the time, these sides are worn off of it. And you just get this part and this part, you know, that's straight. So that one hasn't been out of the ground too long. It hasn't tumbled a whole lot. So actually, this is real similar in size to one I found a few weeks back in the same general area. So um, we will keep looking. Uh, maybe we can find a few more. All right, we're in the same general area. Um, just walked a, a few feet from the other, the vertebrae, and then I think we might have a piece of a jawbone here. So, yeah, let's see, those are broken off teeth. That's a piece of a tooth. That's a piece of a tooth, those two areas. So, this is part of a jawbone. Um, too bad the teeth aren't still in it, but... It's still, uh, it'll be added to uh, the few pieces of jawbone that I've been able to find since I've started looking out here. Uh, we'll keep looking. All right, I think this is uh, going to be piece of bone number three from the same general area. Um, yeah, that is. That is actually a piece of a bone. I have no idea what part of the animal that goes to, though. It's pretty, looks like it's pretty beat up. Um, hmm, nice, good size though. We'll keep looking. And here we are again, about the same area. Um, and I believe, uh, we have a tooth. Let's see if we, it's broken of course. But, that is another tooth. Uh, smaller, probably, uh, Oh yeah, Mosasaur, um, always a chance it's a Peleosaur also. I need to get a little bit better at identifying them, but I'll look it up when I get home and uh, maybe we'll have an answer by the time I do the recap tomorrow. All right, we're in the same area. Um, I, don't, I don't really see these. Um, Somebody's going to have to tell me what that is, and it looks like it's intact. I mean, there there doesn't look like anything broken off of that. That's a Native American artifact. Um, that is pretty neat. That's a rather large one. I hear they, uh, most of them are here are smaller. Um, just got lucky to glance over, and that one was sitting in that gray matrix. So I was able to see it a little bit better. Um, I'm going to put that in my case so I don't break it on the way out of here. We're going to keep looking around, see what else we can find in this spot. All right, so I believe this is a bone here. You can barely see it. It's right there in the middle of the screen underneath that red rock. Let's pull it out together and see what it is. Ah, just a... Uh, just a little piece of bone. Get a lot of these. Uh, I've said that before about the same size, basic same shape. So, wonder if it's maybe like a toe bone or something like that. Maybe somebody can uh, help us out with that and uh, provide something in the comments. All right, folks, here we go again. Um, not sure if you can see it or not, but it's actually stuck underneath this other rock right here. So, let me pull it out. There you go, another nice piece of a vertebrae. As you can tell, that one's been through the ringer a little bit. It's been uh, up and down the river, getting bounced around, um, kind of beat up. Um, still gonna add it to my collection though. So today, uh, having a lot of luck finding uh, bones, so we're gonna keep looking. So here's a good example uh, why you wanna come out as soon as you can after the rains, because you can tell there was probably soil on top of this and the water kind of washed away to expose that bone. Um, not sure what it is. Water's too far away to wash it up right now. Um, 
maybe it's part of a broken vertebrae but um without the rain washing away that debris right there to expose it then you just keep walking by it so um almost uh, getting ready to turn around start heading back maybe we'll find some more stuff on the way back all right so i'm still walking i'm way up here i haven't been this far up uh the river um ever actually to this point so i'm not sure i bet you that is not a bone although it does look similar to a vertebrae uh, no it's not see that's a little misleading right so that looks like a piece of rock there's no characteristics of a bone um so just the way it was sitting on the the surface there though thought it might be but we'll go ahead and leave that here maybe somebody else uh might want it to add to the rock collection or something, so that's a fossil wrong. All right, everyone, so I uh, started my way back and uh, kind of going similar, you know, to how I went up the river, uh, coming back down it, and uh, I don't know if you can see it from that far away. Let's get you a little closer. It's beat up quite a bit, but it is a vertebrae. Um... Let me go clean that up for you guys so you can take a look at it. Well, there you go. Really, it is it is beat up, but it's still a, a vertebrae, probably a mosasaur. Um, Still looking for those really big ones, so we'll keep looking around, see what we can find. Alright, so I was just walking along and sitting next to this bush right there. On the ground was this uh, vertebrae. Now, it's a different color. You can see the dark color that's in there. So this one's actually white. It's still got some of the uh, other bone fragments on it. So maybe the white's the enamel? I'm not really sure, but... Um, nice, nice find. Very happy with it. We will be taking that home. Hey everyone. Uh, so, reached down and saw this. This is a, a tooth, believe it or not, to a mosasaur. I'm not sure how much bigger to be. This is my first one of these ever to find. I know they're out here because I'm reading the book and uh, learning about it. But um, everybody believes that the mosasaurs have those big, sharp, you know, teeth, kind of like a you know, normal dinosaur would and so forth, but not all of them did. There were actually, believe it or not, there were mosasaurs that actually would eat um, like ammonites. And they would have round teeth like that um, so that they could actually crush the shell of the ammonite instead of having to, uh, you know, a sharp tooth, which more likely if you've been into a really hard shell would crack. Um, so they adapted over time and now they have, they came out with the round tooth and, um, I know this is a rather small one, but it's, I think they were called Glibiodons. I'll have to, to confirm that uh, later and when I do my recap. But uh, here's a first find for me, and I hope you uh, learn something about it. Hey, well, uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, staying here for the recap. We're going to go ahead and just kind of go over the findings for the day. And um, this one, of course, uh, right here, this is another... Uh, Tylosaurus tooth. Um, this one's uh, really beat up compared to the other ones. So um, this one actually still has a fine edge to it though right there, um, which is really nice. Um, then we do have a regular Mosasaur tooth here. Um, and uh, as you can tell, that one's a little, little beat up. Not too, too bad. It's still about uh, three quarters of an inch long. And then we, uh, we have the Glibidon. Glibidens, excuse me, Globidens. Man, I'll get that right eventually. This is actually, like I said in the video, this is actually a tooth from a Mosasaur. Not all of them had the uh, the sharp canine-like teeth um, that most people are familiar with. Some of them had crunching teeth. Uh, they would they would eat ammonites for one, which are you know these guys here. That's why there's a lot of pieces of those around, uh, I believe, here and there. So, um, the, the, like I said, that was my first one. Um, that I ever found and uh, it'll be going into a little display case uh, here in just a little while so um well 
And I like to tell you that that's an egg. It won't even come into focus, but that is not an egg. So we'll add some, look, you can see a little bit better if I add a little bit of shade to it. That is actually like a perfectly egg-shaped rock. Um, looks to be some sort of a, um, maybe a quartz or something like that. But look at, I mean, that's perfect shape. Definitely not an egg, though. It's um, not even close to the, the correct characteristics of that. So there was uh, one uh, Baculite piece uh, able to find with some good suture lines on it. Um, which is really nice. Like I said, those, you can find quite a few of these down there without the suture lines. Um, only was able to get one gastropod. That's a pretty good size one, though. Uh, uh, gastropod uh, Steinkern. Um, and there's the red matrix on the inside. I don't know, maybe I've just picked that area too clean of, of gastropods. You're going to have to wait for some more rain. And then we got our normal, we got our uh, ammonite pieces uh, here and there with some suture lines and so forth on them. Uh, here's a little ammonite. Uh, pretty clean. Um, I'm gonna have to go through, maybe try to clean up a little bit more, but that's a, that's a little guy. Um, it's got some mud on the back of it. Kind of worried about um, rubbing it too much, get rid of the suture lines that are on there. Uh, you can actually see the black there. The black is the actual middle uh, of the shell uh, piece, and that looks like a little bit of the shell still there um, attached to it. So it was definitely a day to find bones. So. As you can see, uh, found my share. There's one, two, uh, three, four vertebrae, and then we have a total of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifth, fourteen bones that were found. So there's probably the uh, the um, tallest uh, vertebrae, but it's definitely a mosasaur. It's kind of beat up a little bit, uh, concaved on one side. So that one's been through the ringer. This one's a little bit better shape. Uh, I like the that it still has the flange on there. Those are kind of hard to come by um i was looking at this a little bit i'm not you know that that end right there kind of it looks like a mosasaur um maybe it's just because when the animal passed away that that edge is just kind of deformed a little bit there um kind of oval looking instead of kind of around if you go to like um this one here you actually see the it's it's round right it's a little oval not too much but it, it definitely not like the other one this is a this is the one uh, vertebrae that still has some of the white on it, which uh, is very unusual um, for the North Sulphur River. And um, really nice find. It's a good size. It's uh, really misleading on how heavy these things are. Um, there's a, the other vertebrae that I was able to locate with the, uh, it's got the little point on it where uh, part of the vertebrae would go. And you got both sides. Once again, it's not quite as oval as the other one um, that we just referred to just a minute ago. So... That's also a nice find. Um, we were able to find two uh, pieces of uh, decent fish vertebrae, rather large. Um, it would be nice to have that one uh, intact. Uh, but then you have the other part that I was able to find. Um, same, not the same, not the same, um, same one. As you can tell, they don't go together. So, and then um, this right here, I guess, uh, guys, I, I, it's my first Native American. Um, Arrowhead uh, or spear point. This is actually um, a Golandrina is what they're referring to it as. I want to thank the guys of both the uh, Fossil Forum, guys and gals, and uh, arrowheads.com um, to help identify that. Uh, they actually took a lot of looking at it to try to figure it out. And then they, they wanted me to do this uh, to where you can see the... Um, see it like that, which I think is pretty cool. If I put a little closer to the light, it gets a little bit better. But... Uh, really a great find. I was super, super happy to find it. Uh, in the video, you can tell it just kind of sat there. Um, so, uh, I will end with this. Please continue to, uh, like the videos if you do like them. Uh, pass them out to friends and so forth. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Thank you.